of ideas. In fact, sometimes there's a little bit too much thinking going on up there. We want to host an in-person event. Everyone is starting membership sites. We better get on that. Oh, I know, I know. We'll start a no, membership no, no, no. box. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know about you, but it can get a little crazy up there sometimes. It's the blessing and the curse of being an entrepreneur. Whether you choose to be a modern entrepreneur or it's just who you are, it's likely at some point that you are going to be faced with idea overload. It's a very real thing. It doesn't matter if you're just starting out or if you're years into your journey as an entrepreneur, it is bound to happen. Earlier this year, I had the opportunity to sit down with Tony Shea in an interview. Tony Shea is the CEO of Zappos.com. He's co-founder of Delivering Happiness and creator of the Downtown Project in Las Vegas, amongst other things. He's got more than a thing or two going on and he's quite successful. With his team at Zappos.com, they built a multi-billion dollar empire. When I sat down with him in that interview, I was relieved, disappointed, and surprised to hear that even at that level, entrepreneurs have this blessing and this curse of having so many good ideas. Your challenge and your opportunity is to sort through them and get in action around those ideas that will move your business forward the fastest. So how do you do that? Number one, focus. You might be multi-passionate and have a lot of ideas that you'll focus on over time. But to get some fast momentum, focus on one thing at a time. That doesn't mean that you'll never have more than one thing going on, far from it. That just means your focus can be on building one thing at a time or you'll be stretched too thin. And that is one skinny that isn't in. Once you get that one thing up and running, you can layer in the next big idea. Number two, alignment. How do you know what to focus on? Consider what your current goals are, what the market wants, and then align the two. Decide what you want to focus on and align it to your goals and market demands. Everything else can be set aside, not forever, just until the time is right. What you focus on expands. So focus on what you want, not what you do not want. To help you weed through this concept, sift through your ideas a bit more, and identify your area of focus, we've prepared a focus cheat sheet for you. So you can move from overwhelmed with ideas to clear and focused on what's next. Now tell us in the comments, do you ever experience this idea overload? And how do you sort through it and move into action? We can't wait to rally around you and support you in growing your business because a better business means a better life. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're watching on YouTube, head on over to niceops.com to get your focus cheat sheet. I'll see you in the next video.